As Phoenix continues to grow, the importance of transportation and improvements within the city becomes crucial. Phoenix voters have approved a plan called Transportation 2050, which is looking to place additional emphasis on street needs. The 35-year plan became effective January 1, 2016, and by 2050, the city hopes to triple the number of light rail miles. Mark Rogers is visiting Phoenix from out of town and is skeptical about whether Phoenix residents will actually benefit from the plan. The thought is good, but the reality is human nature is not good, um, and I don't think... I don't think it's going to work out for the best. The Transportation 2050 plan is being funded by a 0.7% sales tax. Rogers is doubtful that city officials are being honest about where those tax dollars are going. There's never like a dashboard or a display where you can see, oh yeah, we invested this much money here. I mean, you really have to get involved at the local level to really understand where the money's going. Many Phoenix locals are highly benefited by the plan. Heather Boisel, who works downtown, feels that the Transportation 2050 plan will aid to the growth of Phoenix. I think any large city needs a good transportation system, especially a good public transportation system, so I think a tax may be necessary to accomplish that. Boisel has noticed the change in the flow of traffic in downtown Phoenix since the light rail was built and hopes that the plan will continue to bring life to Phoenix. When light rail went in, and you had ASU students coming in between, um, I mean, that made a huge difference in just how vibrant the downtown area has been. So without that, I think we would still have lots of closed restaurants and you wouldn't see people walking around like you do right now. Transportation 2050 aims at dramatically expanding investments in Phoenix for bus service, light rail construction, and street improvements. Reporting for Cronkite News, I'm Abigail Leone.